The potential arrest of a former U.S. president has been dominating the headlines, leading some to wonder whether it's even possible. But believe it or not, a sitting president was actually arrested for a crime more than 150 years ago. Union military leadership during the early stages of the American Civil War was extraordinarily inconsistent, essentially becoming a revolving door of generals who were too inexperienced, incompetent, or fearful to conduct a war on such a scale. Ulysses S. Grant in many ways turned the tables on this trend. He was not a flawless military prodigy at first, he was a reluctant one. According to the White House, he was sent rather against his will to West Point, where he was an average cadet. He then fought in the Mexican-American War before returning to Ohio to work for his father, a tanner. When the Civil War broke out, Ohio's governor appointed Grant to lead a group of volunteer troops who lacked discipline. Grant made soldiers out of them and for that was promoted to the position of Brigadier General of Volunteers. History Net notes that Grant was essentially a functioning alcoholic, which may not have come across as all that impressive compared to his peers, but that's also been disputed. Stories about Grant's drinking tended to get exaggerated, spread about by his foes, often folks within his own army who had jealousies. He managed to prove himself a competent enough leader. As a colonel, his performance eventually shined through the smog of stagnation and defeat that the other commanders left behind. Once promoted to general of the army, Grant led the Union to victory, carving paths deep into Confederate territory as the scorched earth policy deprived the enemy of much needed food and other supplies. His popularity was so great that in 1869 he became the 18th president of the United States. Grant had his fair share of scandals while in office, but one personal mishap is surprisingly relatable for those of us living in the 21st century. He got in trouble for speeding in 1872. Yes, before there were cars, the president was arrested for speeding. According to Marston Law, speeding laws have existed since 1652, when restrictions were set for horses and horse-drawn carriages in what would become New York City. Lapham's Quarterly notes that the average speed limit for horses and horse-drawn buggies in populated areas was around 8 miles per hour. More than 30 years after the incident in 1908, the Minneapolis Star Tribune described what happened, explaining that Grant liked to let loose on occasion. On that specific day, he quote, whooped it up with his two gray mares through Georgetown. The paper spoke with the arresting officer whose last name was West and who was a black veteran of the Civil War. He said he observed Grant racing through the streets of Washington, D.C. in his horse and carriage. West initially stopped Grant and allowed him to carry on with just a warning. Grant was a sitting president, but West was compelled to stop him because there had recently been several injuries from people speeding their horses around town. West said, you will excuse me, Mr. President, but you are violating the speed law and there have been a number of complaints. Several women have been hurt. As the head of the nation, you are setting a very bad example. Grant said he was sorry and went on his way, but he wasn't that remorseful, it seems, because the next day he did it again. Not only was he speeding, but Kathy Lanier, the D.C. police chief in 2012, told WTOP he actually was racing his buggy on M Street, where he was taken into custody. Reluctantly, yet firmly, West again approached Grant and informed him that this time he was under arrest. The Star Tribune quoted West as saying this time, I am very sorry, Mr. President, but I must do my duty even if you are the head of the nation. I warned you yesterday, now I must place you under arrest. Grant was no stranger to being arrested for speeding. He was previously booked for it in 1866. Grant complied and went with the officer to the local jail, but his status as the president gave the offense radically different optics. While he did not fight the charges, he did not stay in custody for long. He left after paying a $20 fine, which would be equal to about $450 today. Though he paid the fine and walked home to the White House, he did not show up to court. By all accounts, that was surprisingly not an issue. According to Business Insider, the officers weren't really sure if they could even charge a sitting president. Nonetheless, the arrest seemed to have an effect, because there aren't any other records of Grant speeding his horses through the nation's capital.